Hi there, this is Mike Kaufman. In this series of videos, we're gonna take a look at a tool that I'm very excited about that will help us to more efficiently record the observations that we make of students live in class. This tool is Docapender, and what it does is it links Google Forms to Google Docs, which will give us a digital record of those observations we make, um, or those anecdotal records that we take of our student skills or student behaviors in class. I'm very excited about this. Um, I'm making a series of videos to help break the steps down more easily. And in this first video, we're going to just do an overview and see what this actually looks like. Okay, so on my screen, I have on the one side a live uh, video of my smartphone. And what we have loaded on there is a Google form that I created. On the other side of the screen, right, we have a Google Doc that is being linked to the Google Form using the add-on Doc Appender. Now, you can use any mobile or any device, right? You can use an iPhone, you can use a tablet or an iPad, as well as your computer. Um, the point, though, of this is to be able to keep you mobile in the classroom, especially if you're like a PE teacher or someone that's moving around a lot, um, just by being connected to Wi-Fi on an iPad or again, or on a tablet or smartphone, you will be able to use this tool. So I have on here my Google Form. I'm going to choose the period that I'm working with, which is period one, and notice that is the name of my document over there. And then I'm gonna choose a student that I'm going to observe. Let's say today I'm taking a look at Jen. And then I have some questions that I've set up on my Google Form. I have some uh, comments that I might be making. These could be generic comments on student behaviors like these, uh, or they could be specific skills that you're looking for uh, that you're trying to observe. I'm going to maybe click a couple observations that I'm making. You can also set up some scaled questions here to gauge uh, students. In this case, maybe you could set up effort on a scale. All right, as well as you can make some comments. Now, obviously making comments on your cell phone is a little bit hard, and that's where setting up the comments, like the question, first question is sort of a better option. Now when I hit submit, you're gonna notice then that the information that I just recorded on the Google Form is gonna automatically and pretty quickly pop up on my Google Doc. Now all I have to do is hit submit another response. Now what I've also done is I've added a second add-on called Choice Eliminator, and what this has done is it's eliminated some of my choices still working on period one. However, you now notice that the student Jen is gone. This is super helpful to make sure that you are making observations of all your students and that you're not just focusing in on just a few. And then let's say I can choose Mike. All right, he had trouble managing his frustration today, although he had some great effort. I'm gonna choose maybe not to add in specific comments. Hit submit. And again, um, it's going to then automatically be added to my Google Doc and some things I really love about it is the timestamp so it makes uh, keeps track of when you made those comments to sort of keep you better organized and then when you come to have maybe conferences with your students or parent teacher conferences or you go to write report card comments or whatever it is you now have a record of those observations that you made that are digitally right there saved on your google doc now i've set it up with a class but you can also set up individual documents for each of your students. Let's say you wanna uh, keep record of observations on a specific skill and students can then see your observations and they can even add on feedback to it and so forth. So this uh, tool really has lots of options. Um, I love it, it really makes our life a lot easier. Uh, again, digitizing and recording those observations that we make of our students live in class. In the next set of videos, you're gonna take a look at um, how to get this set up and good luck.